go. Alright. It doesn't not record? Did you hit the record button or did you hit the fucking play button? I bet you hit the fucking play button, didn't you? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Alright, you ready? We'll just do it again. Just do it, just do it again. <laughs> Alright. Three, two, one, go. go. We, you hit the right fucking button. Yeah, that time? we're good, bro. All right, cool. But anyway, I gotta do my intro, huh? Yep. How's everybody doing? My name is Augie with VIP Playlist. I'm here with the sweetest co-host ever. It's your boy Adam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what's up, man. You need to slow down the intro. You're like, you go way too fast. Do I? Kinda. It's like you're nervous. Oh, did I do? I do it every time, or do I do it sometimes, uh, or this time? So. I think we've done like 80 episodes and you've only done it 80 times. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I will, I will slow it down. It's just cause I, I don't know. I just want to get to it, you know? I feel you, bro. I'm just excited. Me too. To hang out with my best buddy. My best boy. Yeah, my best boy. Anyway, so you say you had a good day today? Yeah. Um, That's what's up, dude. You know, went to the, uh, went to the gym, went to work, slaved. Who's Jim? <laughs> Got him. Got him. <laughs> uh, that's what's up, dude. I just went to work. Uh, got there at 5.30. Or no, I left my house at 5.30. And then I left work at 5.30. Hell yeah. So, have you been getting to work like, on time? Mm -hmm. Actually, I'll have you know you should be proud of me. Uh-oh. I haven't been late a single day. <clears throat> Tennis. In like two months. Ooh. No, I take that back. I've only been late once in like two months. Still. That's pretty good. That's a new fucking record, bro. Yeah. I, I never would have thought. <clears throat> I know. I'm like, I'm on, I still, I'm not sleeping at all though, bro. Jesus. Yeah. <sighs> it's because you stay up all night playing Diablo. I know. I've been grinding like a motherfucker on just, Diablo, dude. I stay up until like You need to 11. stop that, dude. Yeah, but. Yeah, I know. You got to wake up so early. And then. And then I lay down in bed, and I'm up for another, like, 30 minutes to an hour. So I don't really go to sleep until, like, midnight. And then I wake up at 5, 5.30. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, yeah. I try to go to bed by, like, 12.30. But yeah. I don't know. You wake up a lot later than I do, though. Yeah, right? I wake up at, like, 7. Well, if I go to the gym, I wake up at, like, 6. Yeah, I wake up at 5.30. So, yeah. But, I well, still, actually, I my still alarms get, like, start going off at 5. So I still get more sleep than you. Is the point. Yeah, I don't get any sleep, dude. Mm -hmm. Diablo is fun. I've been grinding like a motherfucker. I'm at like level 66. 69. Yeah, almost there. Once you get to 69, and then I gotta you stop have to playing. Yeah, you gotta stop. Yeah, I gotta legally, I gotta stop you gotta, playing. You gotta leave it. No more, no less. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, it's fun, dude. I'm grinding like a motherfucker. Uh, Tori's playing Baldur's Gate. What's that? It's uh, it's kind of like D&D. &D. It's okay. like a D&D &D game. All right. <laughs> It's a it's a newer game that just came out recently. I and, uh, dating simulator. It's yeah, it's it's a vampire dating simulator. Is oh. what she said. You get to like yeah, that's bang on brand. Stuff that's on, that's yeah. on brand. You get to like you get to like choose a character to bang out in it. Hey, yeah, but you have to like romance them first. Oh, yeah, they make you work for it. It's not just like hey, it's TV. not yeah, it's not free. <laughs> yeah, I got you. That's cool, man. Yeah. Cool game. Yeah, it's pretty cool in here. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm excited for October though. Um, so I'm a huge fan of the Alan Wake series. Uh huh. And they're like uh, these little like horror games. So I played Control. Control was fun. I played Alan Wake one and two. And they're about to release uh, another Alan Wake game, and I'm so fucking ready for it. When's that? It comes out October. Yeah, it comes out in October. Dang. Yeah, the Alan Wake series is so fucking sick, dude. Bro, you be gaming, bro. Yeah, I know. That's what's up. I like... Yes, me too. Alan's sleep. She got me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> they got me, dog. I'm I'm waiting for Alan's sleep as well. They got me. They got me, bro. Huh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, they're like little horror games. I've been on like a little horror kick here lately. So. I can't play horror games. I can watch yeah. all the scary movies and they're not scary to me. But yeah. scary games, I don't, I can't mess with them, dude. 
they actually like i don't i'm not into the like because when you're a video game it's like you're in it right like you're yeah. you're controlling the character so like if i make a dumb decision or like i turn around it's like it feels like it's me but a movie i'm watching yeah. other people get like horrified so i don't care yeah versus it's we me. got era yeah. era 404 in the chat what's up what's up era 404 yeah, dude, I don't know, dude. I just love, I love, like, little, I've been listening to, like, little horror podcasts and shit yeah, like that, Yeah, I know. You mentioned like, that. You've been, yeah. you've been on the, the spoopy, spoopy game. The spoopy kick, man. I, I enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one I'm listening to now is, like, a dude. It's pretty interesting because he gets, like, possessed by, like, a demon god thing. Yeah, it's my girlfriend's favorite thing is demon possession. Yeah. She loves yeah, it. But, so this one's really cool because, like, he... The, the the thing takes con- like basically it's like possesses him right but yep. it only has control of his eyes so he's blind he can hear him talking oh. to him but he cannot see the demon can see through his eyes that's crazy but so he knows what's like, going on though because he's like you know yeah whoa he's gotta like he's blind so he's gotta like listen to this demon thing and like because they're trying nah. to figure out a way to get separated and he's got to oh, like, fam. yeah, dude, that's sick. I was like, whoa. Nah, I can't do that. Just kill me, bro. Just take me out, dog. <laughs> kill myself. Mm-hmm. Sheesh. Take me out, bro. But no, it's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting. Little, that's crazy, little, dude. Little. Yeah. You ready? I listen to a bunch of them. Getting ready for your big trip? Yeah, yeah. Uh, where are we going? SeaWorld. Yeah. You ready for that? Yeah. Are you gonna? Yeah, man, because it's, it's you, all free. Are you gonna try to save the whales? Nah. <laughs> free Willy. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna try to free Willy? <laughs> no. I mean, I feel bad for him, but like, it's free. And, <laughs> you know. You know. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's when, free. When it's free, there's no pity. Yeah. I. I. I, I mean, I feel bad for you, dog. Why? Sorry. Oh, for them. No, not you. For the whales. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just, but my company is doing it and they're doing like, they're giving us like free food and like they're putting on a concert for us and doing all kinds of crap. Dang. And they're also giving us um, extra tickets so we can go anytime we want, like at a later date. Oh, yeah. Like in the future on your own. Yeah. That's nice. Oh, damn. That's really nice. How many of y'all is it, you think? Oh, dude, they said a lot. Like they said there's a lot of people coming and they're giving us 130 in gas as well. So that pretty much cover it? Yeah, I mean, Almost. it's only San Antonio. Yeah. yeah. How, how far away is that? How many hours? Like six, I think. Mm. Yeah, that might, cover. that might cover it. That might cover it. I'm not too worried about it, because that's... They, we also get, like, discounts at our hotel, and then a bunch of other cool, like, little perks. And yeah. I'm, we're staying two nights, and we're going to go to SeaWorld on Saturday, and then Sunday, we'll check out of the hotel, and then we'll just cruise around San Antonio. Yeah. Dick Probably around. hit the boardwalk. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be nice. Kids will like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Monday I'm taking off. Ooh. So I don't like driving that far and then going to work. Six hours. Day, just... You baby. Yeah, that's a long time, dude. Bro, right? you're such a baby. You had to be on a flight for like 14 I've hours. I've already done it. Yeah. When I flew to Europe. It was like 13 or 14 hours. Well, how long is the flight to Japan? Well, we go to Toronto or somewhere in Canada first. Oh, that's what's up. And then it's, I think it's like 13 or 14 hours to Japan. Damn, how far is it to Toronto? Uh, I don't know. It's got to be, with, it's got to be within four hours. Like, there's no way it's longer than that. Yeah. But like, here's the deal. When you take one of those long, like, long, like, in the teens, tr- like, flights they like give you food yeah. they give you like breakfast lunch and dinner dude so basically you just like you sleep and you wake up with the smell of food <laughs> oh damn that's what's up yeah. and then you watch a movie and pass out again is it like decent food dude it's not bad like it's not and bad. It, it like you know like uh well obviously but you're kind of familiar with like an mre right but think of that but like yeah but like better but like they give you this little bundle and it's all like prearranged. Like it has your oh, utensils and your food and it comes out like it's hot or, you know, based on whatever you want. The food's actually pretty good, dude. Not going to lie. Yeah. I'm going to be real. Uh, MREs were actually really fucking delicious. I'm not going to lie. I, I've were... never had one, but I have oh, this, delicious. I have this, uh, 
I have this weird obsession with watching people eat MREs, like just try them out. Like civilians will be like, I'm going to go try this MRE. They're not bad, dude. And they're just like, every time they're just like, I just wish it could be warmer because these heaters suck. But like, it's good. Like they all kind of say it's good. Yeah. I mean, it's, <clears throat> I had a plenty, I've, had, I've eaten plenty of them. They're pretty good, man. They're like, um, uh, there is like, you know, some things that are like you, you avoid, but for the most part, they're not bad. Everybody wants to talk about how nasty that shit. They're not really. I mean, if good. you're like comparing to, you like, know, a five star meal cooked by your boy nah. himself, the chef boy RD, then of course. Like like military food? Moggy? Anyway, sorry, my wife was talking to me. Yeah, don't, don't talk to me. Yeah, don't tell her not to talk to you. <laughs> We're doing important things. Grown men yeah. things. Yeah, grown grown men. Grown things. folks is talking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh yeah, man. Listen up all you VIP peers. And VIP players. We have a goddamn Patreon now. <laughs> This game is so aggressive. I did. We have a Patreon now. Yeah, motherfuckers. <laughs> and a Discord. Yeah. And a YouTube. Discord. Come but join. No it. webcams yet. No webcams. You can't see our beautiful face. Not yet. Yeah. Shout out to Enormous Adam on Discord. Hit him up if you need a Discord. He did a great job on ours. It looks cool. But guess what? You won't know how it looks unless you join that bitch. <laughs> if you would, please join our Discord and our Patreon. It would be really cool of you. We would love you forever. We'd still love you forever, even if you don't. Yeah. But you join the Patreon, you're going to get stickers. <laughs> stickers. You get to dehumanize me. Yes. I don't know what that means. Go look Go at the Patreon. Patreon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that's it. That's and it. Subscribe to our fucking YouTube channel. Yeah. Comment. Thank you. Review. Subscribe. We yeah. Love you more. All that stuff. Do everything that you do for all the people that you love on YouTube. Do it for us too. Yeah. Thanks. We love you. I was actually I had a topic I want to talk to you about. And I wanted to see okay. how you handle these situations. All right. So I had this dude. At, I had this dude at my job. You know him, but I'm not going to name names. No doxing. No doxing. So he always, like, wants to show me these videos, right? And now I don't mind people showing me funny videos, right? As long as they're, like, short, like, five to oh, ten second clips. Oh, dude. Does, because does he, after Does he that, show you, like, the six-minute clips, like, videos? Bro, after about five to ten seconds, it gets really awkward because I don't know what to do. And, like, the punchline is normally, like, at the end of the video. Sure. So I have to watch this entire fucking video for, like, a two-second punchline. And I'm just standing there in the most awkward fucking position I've ever been in. Just like waiting like, hey. <laughs> yeah. Um, I hate that shit. All right. So if it's like really, really long, I, I'll just I'll just be like, oh, like send it to me. Bro, that should just be like the norm. <laughs> yeah, if it's that long. If it's okay, but if it's like a, you know, within 30 seconds and it's not funny, you just got to like you just got to you don't actually have to laugh. You can just be like, "Oh man, that's funny." Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like, you uh -huh. yeah, 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 perfect. Good job. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> you just got to, you know, haha. Uh -huh. Oh man, that's 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 uh -huh. crazy. That's crazy, you know? Yeah. Hit him with that. Cause you don't, you know, when when someone shares a video with you, it becomes a little personal because they think it's funny, and they're like, "If I think it's funny, then it's obviously funny. I'm gonna show it to someone." And if you're yeah. like, "That's stupid," then they're gonna feel bad. They're gonna be like, "Oh man." No, I don't ever say it. Too. I just I'm like sitting here, like, and then I start worrying, like, "What do I do with my hands?" Well, like, yeah, there's not a lot. That's my, just your. Is my own, stance okay? That's just your own, like, awkwardness. Don't look at me. Because yeah. I'm watching the video. Don't see my reaction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. I don't have. I don't have. Yeah, all, I'm, I'm giving away my secrets. Uh, Andrea's saying every time I say that, she'll be like, what the hell? Yeah, she's. Yeah. See, now she got you on lock, dog. I don't know, man. Damn. Ah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, dude, that's what I would do. 
Yeah. I just worry about like how fucking awkward I look, man. Hey, it's Mark. Hey, Mark. What's up, Mark? Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> he, he's gonna leave now. Don't leave. He's Don't gonna leave. leave. Yeah. <laughs> I was excited, dude. Uh, yeah, dude. It's been a while. It's been a long time. What did you think about all that Paul Wall put on the playlist, dog? Bro, I was pretty happy. Oh, thanks, Mark. Well, hello. Have a safe Have fun trip. In Mich- oh, man, he didn't <laughs> laugh. I couldn't even say shit. Have a safe trip to Michigan. Thanks for popping in. Um, Oh, dude, Paul Wall on the playlist? Let me tell you a story. Yeah, Let me tell you a story about Paul Wall. All right. So, um... The ice... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was part... Uh, ice man. Yeah, the ice man. I got caught in the cold front. Check this out. Oh, yeah? Yeah, check this out. So, I go to a college football game in Lubbock, right? Mm-hmm. I get invited. My girlfriend and basically all of her friends and everybody went to that school. And they're like, we're going to go to a big college game rivalry. <clears throat> and then, like, out of, I don't know where, but basically I figured out or learned, was informed that Paul Wall was going to perform pre-game, dude. <laughs> and I was the only motherfucker that was excited about it. What? Yeah, dude, I would have been fucking. Because they excited. were, they, everyone was like, "Oh, that's so random." Like, man, oh, oh, like that's so old. I legit, like, I don't really ask for a lot of things. I really don't. So we're yeah. all like, you know, doing what you do when you go back to your college. You just hang out and drink. And at some point, I looked at everyone. And I was like, "All right, like." I don't know what y'all are doing, but at X o'clock, I forget what time it was. Like, I'm going to go see Paul Wall. If I miss <laughs> Paul Wall because of y'all, I'm, act- I'm actually oh, going to yeah, be upset. Out of hands, bro. I'm actually going to be upset. So needless to say, I saw Paul Wall. But I only saw him for like two, That's what's I only saw him for like two songs. Cause I mean, I did. Was he and, good? Yeah, like man. Yeah. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. I thought he was. Everybody was all excited. You know, everyone's rapping along. So yeah, I, can put dude, that on my, I can put that on my list. I saw Paul Wall. And then yeah, you dude. put on the chopped and screwed, dude. Are you kidding me? You can put chopped and screwed. I know. Someone blending a smoothie. I'm going to be like, hell yeah. This is great. So what happened was, is my brother, I was like, hey, send us some music that go over on the podcast or whatever on the live episode. And my brother was like, I've been listening to this playlist and it was the, it was the best chopped and screwed playlist ever or some shit like that. Yeah. So I was like, oh shit, let me look at this. And I saw Paul Wall in there, and I was like, "That's that's the jam. That's the one." I put that on there. Swish and house. then, like, I remembered, like, two weeks ago. I don't know how to pronounce this dude's name. It's Tobe something. He's mm-hmm. another Houston rapper. He featured Paul Wall on a song, and I just saw the video for it like two or three weeks ago, and I was like, "I'm gonna throw that shit on there too." Yeah. Just because that's like an updated Paul Wall, and it was pretty good. I like yeah, it was. Too. It wasn't. It was. It was pretty good. I will. I agree with. Yeah, you he was. Yeah, man. I'm always good, I'm dude. always happy to see, you know, Paul Wall, Mike Jones, all that shit. I'm I'm yeah. always happy to see that. I will never Ooh. be upset. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Back then they didn't want me. I love that song. No, I'm hot, they all anyway. want me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh man, what do you think about the new Woe song? You know what? Um I it's still like it's still um it's not numbers but yeah I it'll re- never be numbers no nothing will i really like hans's voice i think he because i listen to like their older stuff that had him mm-hmm. and i feel like he shines a little more on this song uh it's called red right so uh, mm-hmm. just red not red right red um i i thought the song was cool yeah, I, am I, is it going to be like in my daily rotation or whatever? No. But is it cool to see like, what was me making music and for the, you know, maybe not the full on original members, but you know, it, I think, yeah. I think it's pretty dope. It was pretty good, man. It was pretty good for what it was. Yeah, I agree. I enjoyed it. So what I did with this playlist is, is I put a couple of things on there that people suggested. And then I realized that we hadn't done one of these since like. It's been a little while. May? May, I think, was the last one of these we did. Damn. What was that? <laughs> uh, it was Hamtaro. <laughs> it oh, was okay. a video on my phone. 
And he was like Bruh. pulled up on a Hamtaro thing. I scared the shit out of me, dog. <laughs> scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating. Anyway, so what I did was yeah, uh, I went through and I checked out everybody that we've done an interview with. And if they had dropped a new song within the last two months, I threw it on here. So that's why that's a bunch of this is basically just like a bunch of people we did an interview with. And then just a bunch of shit that we just threw. I just threw on. Yeah, here. a so lot of the people we interviewed are like putting out songs like crazy. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk about the Easy Mail and Eminem song, bro. I liked it. Oh, my God. And I'm not I don't know how recent it is. And I, it's very recent. Okay, because I don't like really like month, less than a month old. I don't really like like any like hardly any new rap, but there are a yeah. couple that I I wrote down, and that was one of them. I like yeah. I like the way that one sounded, and I love Eminem. So Easy Mail, they he, Eminem just signed Easy Mail to his record label. Okay, and so he released a song with him. Uh huh. Man is a genius marketer, dude. Well, yeah. Because he just, like, talks shit to somebody who's um, Millie Mill in the middle of the song. And then and it, it blew up all over TikTok because Millie, <laughs> Millie Mill came back with a with a diss track for Eminem. And it's that old, like, 80s shit. He said he's going <laughs> to... He said he's going to turn up the Wi-Fi. <laughs> 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 I watched a video of somebody like, how the fuck are you going to turn up the Wi-Fi? <laughs> oh, my God. It was pretty, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, you know, he did that for Easy Mail, and, and uh, kids are blowing up now. Cause, well, I mean, he was decent before, but now, like, everybody's talking about that song. So. Uh, damn. That's how, like, detached I am from media yeah. and society. I had no clue that this song even existed until today, but it's a good song. Go check it out. Yeah, it's pretty deep. It's pretty dope, man. Uh, yeah, and then I guess we can get into the list, man. Uh, Do your list. Okay. Talk about it. I'll talk about Tell it. Talk about it. So this was a two-hour list this time that we were given. Two hours worth of music given to by listeners and stuff. So, yeah. so thanks a lot, everyone, for contributing. Well, among, a lot of this was, so there's a couple of listeners threw some shit on here. Thank y'all. And then a lot of this was just me going back to the last two months and putting them Oh, okay. Let me, let me. These let, are, a let lot me, of these were artists. Let me re, let, let me fix that. Uh, thanks, kind of listeners, but mostly Augie. He did everything. Oh, you're you guys welcome. aren't oh, you're not important. Huh. Um, matter of fact, I have listeners, to my own horn didn't do shit. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll start off with Dwellings. I still think Little Garden is uh, record of the year. Record of the year so far. Yeah. Um, and it seems like every time I listen to it, there's a different song that's my favorite that turns into my favorite. And the one you put on like that, that one might be my favorite right now. I like that one. I like, uh, I think they have a song called Red or something like that. That one's kind of like a, uh, so he mentioned being a fan, like a huge fan of like the Killers, which uh-huh. by the way, that's way out of left field. I would have never thought that he looked, he liked the Killers or, um, there's another one on there too, but anyway, that one did have like a really big like the killers vibe to it. Right. Probably not on pur- purpose. They probably didn't do it on purpose, but mm-hmm. it did have that like swing type mm-hmm. groove to it. Yeah, yeah. So that one, <clears throat> that one's good. Chance the Rapper, Coco Butter Kisses. I don't think I've ever, well, at least knowingly listened to any Chance the Rapper. I like that song. He's, That's he's, a good he's song too. Story. Man. Twist it, it's really, it's kills really it. Catchy. Yeah, and then yeah, you know, twist it. And I think that helps. That gives it brownie points with me. Yeah, anybody. I like Chance as too. you can he's see, good. like we're talking about Paul Wall, Twist it, Eminem, like all these guys were big when I was younger. So that helps. Um, yeah. Ando San, My Nirvana. I really dig the direction he's going in really chill I, too. I couldn't pick because i listened to the album yeah. i couldn't pick so i just put nah, i just put two songs on the there whole cause... thing on there for like care but it, yeah. it's really chill music and like i i love that he's you know putting himself out there and, and putting his mm-hmm. his 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 lyrics his raps on there it, dude it i great. love the way he fucking thumps that guitar man yep. it sounds so fucking good mm-hmm. um oh there was that song Jump by Just Friends. Oh, you like that song? Yeah, because it, it had the Sonic riff in it. Yeah. Yeah. How that that song threw me off every time. I, I always had to look at my phone and be like, who the fuck is this? And then I was like, oh, yeah. 
Well, I was like, I, I was listening to it and I was like, uh, I was like, this sounds really familiar. Why does it sound yeah. familiar? And then I just kept listening. I was like, I know what the hell this is. It's like, I forget the name of the level, yeah. but it's on yeah. like Sonic on uh, Genesis. So that was awesome. You, you like him even more, dude. The, the lead singer, the dude is a uh, Raiders fan. Oh, psh, then he's perfect. Best favorite band. Favorite band. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> um and then just some of the other guys i'm gonna sort of lump together we've either actually yet well no one of them we haven't interviewed but they all you know they're all very very great uh night versus karma wheel that song's incredible oh my god callous dow boys with waco jesus um mm-hmm. i like the um the clean sort of well, i don't even know how to describe it it's like a stern like He's like talking but singing. I don't know how to describe that. Yeah, but that yeah, that's yeah. really great. And then uh, Blink by Aviations. Um, Adam can, can sing on anything. Hold on, it's hold on, great. Adam. We we have to get like a uh, we have to get like a sound for every time Aviations releases a song that we play before we like dick ride the hell out of those dudes. <laughs> <laughs> It, it should be some like uh, <laughs> some weird like uh, anime schoolgirl noise or something. Right? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. We because everything they release, we just we're yeah. just like, oh my god. Yeah, we dig, we dig, right? Hundred <laughs> percent. Um, there's a couple others, but I feel like I'm I'm kind of taking over. So uh, no, go ahead, man. Keep going, because like I put this playlist together, so I, like every song on it's a banger to me. <laughs> I've I've gone a little out of order. Um, you got fucked yourself up. I did. The Sudafed Sundays. That's a, a great song with uh, the boys. I like Kings and Animal Jam. Mm-hmm. Um, and Nate. So yeah, I really like that song. And I, I'm not super aware. Like I, I'm familiar with sort of like some of the causes and stuff that they're trying to, uh promote and i think this has something to do with it if i'm not a complete idiot foggy do you know more about what uh Sorry. lilac kings and they're like what they're kind of sort of not promoting but you know like they're uh what's that called i think they're gonna release an album soon uh-huh uh cicadia is gonna release an EP or an album soon as well. So Dylan's been, Dylan and, and Caleb both have been crazy busy with both bands. Okay. So okay. I'm not sure when they're going to release the next singles or anything like that. They haven't, they haven't announced them okay. yet or anything. Okay. So, but they do have a lot of shit coming and all the shit they've released so far has been just fucking heaters. Mm-hmm. I think Royal Heart put up thank you. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That guys, was a song to their fans. Yeah. Those guys are getting better. Um, so good, as man. They, as they kind of go on, it's so cool to see. Yeah. Oh, and, and Royal Hearts, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better think. That's right. <laughs> um, stop, drop, rewind, drown me in Lake Michigan. Nice. It's a uh, deters from their style a little bit, but it's, it does, it's still there. But yeah, it's, I, I just it's I like really the like catchiest shit. Yeah. It's super cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you go ahead, buddy. Um, so what do you think about Yonkers? I like Tyler, the creator. I've, I've always, um, for whatever reason, I've always kind of liked like horror core rap and it kind of fits in line with that. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a great album, by the way. It's, he does kind of like a Eminem, more Marshall Mathers type thing on yeah. that album where he like takes on a different persona. Hmm. He's Wolf. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, my dude, I was driving the work this morning, 5.30 in the morning. It's probably, like, delirium of why I laugh so hard at this verse. But <laughs> I was, like, I was laughing on my way to work because I was listening to the song, and he says, I'm an overachiever, so how about I start a team of leaders and pick up Stevie Wonder to be wide receiver? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, dude, I was laughing so hard. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty goofy. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess he caught some heat for the song, but hey, worked out. Yeah, worked out for the guy. 
Yeah, I mean, he's an incredible songwriter. Oh, my God. What's up? So, we all know, I, I'm sure you've heard Anderson Pack, right? Yeah. Okay. I've heard of him, yes. So he's he's done a lot of like movie scores. He's done a lot of uh, other stuff as well. He's 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 done a lot of songs. He's a songwriter, I believe. Okay. Dude is one of the most amazing musicians I've ever seen in my life. I watched a video where he uh he did a live remake of Old Town Road. Ooh. F- fucking incredible. He's like playing the drums and he's got like a like a some some singers, like some backup singers. It is the most incredible fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. Huh. It's so fucking good, dude. Like he is he is one hell of a musician. Yeah, but anyway, I didn't put that on there. Old, old town road that nah, it's better, dude. It's like so much better. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Oh fuck. Hey, we gotta name this playlist by the way. Fuck. Oh, can, can we call can we call it Hamtaro? That we get Oh right? yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We can call it Hamtaro. Oh, I was going to tell you. So here's a, here's a marketing tip. What we need to do, Hamtaro is a great name. Uh, what we need to do is when we're doing these, we need to think about like marketing, uh-huh. right? So my wife tells me that like anime characters are like huge right now. So you can be like, wait, what's a good playlist name? Like a dude. Oh. You know what I'm talking about. What are those goofy ones you listen to? Like, like his picks or something, right? You leave me alone. Don't no. ask me these questions. All right, anyway. So, like a. Like a okay, so, no, you put so something like, like Deku's Jams or something? Like, 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 yeah. Or okay. anime characters, like songs they would listen to. Like yeah, like songs Vegeta's they would listen to. Workout. Vegeta's workout. Vegeta's workout or some shit like that. Like that. <laughs> yeah, Go- bro. Goku's like inspo. <laughs> yeah, Goku's inspo. Yeah, shit like that. That'd be like perfect, right? Uh, okay. I think Vegeta would work out to this playlist. <laughs> I, I think Cam, I, I think Hamtaro. I think Hamtaro would Hamtaro. work out to it. Yeah, Hamtaro. Yeah. There you go. That'd be a good one. That'd be a good name, actually. Hamtaro's. Hamtaro's workout. Like, <laughs> what does Hamtaro out. do though? Does like, <laughs> does he work out? Do they, uh, do they work out? False. They do Hamsters, not. Hamsters, hot dog. Oh, dude. Sleep- yeah, Hamtaro's yeah. sleepy time. Hamtaro's running wheel playlist. <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> we got it. Thank you. Good job, everyone. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Great work. <laughs> anyway, Night Versus, they um they got an album coming out, Adam, and Brandon Boyd's gonna be one of the vocalists on on one of their songs because they're an instrument of an instrumental band. How cool is that? And right, man, they're gonna have to tone it down. I don't know, man. Like, okay, you think he's yeah, gonna, I'm, you think they're gonna I'm, come in hot like they do? And he's like, I, dude, I'm curious to see how they handle it because yeah. Eric and Prada, dude, Eric and Prada is one of the best drummers of our generation. Dude is so amazing to watch. Like, if you, yeah, I, I follow him on Instagram and stuff, and he is like insane, dude. He is so fucking good. He's the one that puts together. He put. He has a YouTube channel, and he puts together all these crazy videos, and it'll be like one song with like 16 different drummers on it and he'll give them each like a little part it's dude it's so fucking crazy like Damn. he does he does amazing shit and uh he's he's such a good drummer and i can't wait to see what this album does they also got like anthony green on there as well so damn they have all my boys on there i lose my shit i know dude I'm, supposed to, I'm curious to see how it's gonna sound when's that come out do you know no wow. Oh, oh, uh, Cutie Carousel, the pulse is cut. What do you think about that one? Yeah, it's, it's different than it's different, like, yeah. what it is now. Banger. And, and it yeah. really goes to show you how you can give like one, you know, one song, complete song to a different vocalist and it will just be completely different. Like it's not even, you know what I mean? It's not even yeah. the same. Like it's just a completely different song. It's not even the same style anymore, just because of the the vocals, uh, yeah, the delivery and all that. Both song, both versions are amazing. Yeah, Cutie Carousel, like dwellings aside, like I don't know what it was about that song. That shit hit me hard. You mean Cat Company? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. that meant the song though, the song itself. 
Um, oh yeah, yeah, that shit hit me hard, and I was like, dude, like, y'all got to go listen to this. Like that one. I, so that one, that one's up for song of the year. Apparently, they lost their vocalist or whatever, and they Correct. were gonna. Re- they gave the song to Pulses. They were gonna release it with Pulses, Correct. but then they got a vocalist, so they just let him do it. But they already had Pulses recorded, so they just released them both. Mm-hmm. And I, I dig it, dude. It's 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 a completely different song. It is. I, I mean, yeah, it changes the song completely. But I mean, Pulses never misses. So who that? The boys. Yeah. Fax, no printer. Fax, no printer. <laughs> uh, my 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 boys say anything are back. Oh my god! You know so what? Good. I'll give it to you, Augie. It was pretty good. What? It was pretty good. It was good, dude. Was good. Oh my god, it it's so fucking good. And I, and I, I and was then, never a say anything fan, like I. I but this, but this yeah. is good. This is good. I love him, dude. He's he's oh, just so good, dude. Yeah. And and it's it's all of our appropriate was good. It was okay. It, was, it took me a while to get into it. But this right here, oh my god, I'm so happy. Uh, they're supposed to, I think they're getting ready to release an album too, and I'm so happy because that these two songs are so good. And then Tired Violence and Patient 67 did a oh, fucking... Oh yeah, uh, that was a heavy song. That was nice. They did like a MySpace era song. Yeah, that was, that was nice. I did, I did have that one yeah. uh, noted down. Yeah. Sauce. Sauce. God, they're so good. Sauce is so saucy. The shit that dude does with the guitar is amazing. Mm-hmm. And the bass lines and just like everything they do is so fucking good. The homie in Design the Void, they, they oh, released yeah, a really good. Yeah. Yeah, Image Intent, Grapevine Gossip. Man, it's crazy how many. With the Kesha cover. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how many of these we've done, but it's crazy. A lot, like, yeah. We've, we've talked to all these guys. And they've all been so nice. And they're all doing so well. Yeah. 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 That's he. He did the gigs. Yeah. So he actually. So we talked to him. He wrote that, just fucking around, and he posted it. And uh, Hunter Gex liked it so much that they they reached out to him and asked him if they could use it. Hmm. Adam Dabs, and he's been doing a lot of um. Uh. What is that shit called? Hyperpop stuff. Wow. So he he's been working with a lot of hyperpop artists. Uh, I know he's worked with Garden. He's worked with like f- a bunch of other ones too. So I think he told me he like set up Garden's like helped Garden set up his like home studio and shit. Yeah. Anthony Green. He worked with Anthony Green as well. He wrote the apparently he wrote the song "Don't Dance" with Anthony Green, but the version they wrote is completely different. Than the version Anthony Green released. Oh, okay. Yeah. Man. So it's a really dude's it's, just, a, it's a small world out there. It is, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, we just released an interview with Cascadent. Is that how you pronounce it, Adam? You're you're better at that. Cas- Cascadent. Cascadent. Yeah. <clears throat> Cascadent. I don't know why I say it that way. All right, leave me alone. They released the song uh, "Watch the Tale" with uh, Michael Soup Campbell from Sater. Banger. Michael Stoop Campbell. Yeah, that's his name. All right. <laughs> I don't know. If, oh my god. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> I, need, I need to call the cops. Is, is, I think I need to look. It's a sign. We need to change the name of the playlist to. <laughs> is, is, is Tori putting her hands on me again? Augie? Yeah. Back. No, I dropped my phone, and that's eight five twenty. Period is the. Is what sent in the chat. My bad, y'all. I dropped my phone <laughs> on the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Dash forward slash eight twenty. Oh, dude, that's kind of creepy. Yeah, my bad, y'all. Yikes. I don't know what that means, but that's cre- bars, bars. TBH <laughs> bars. <laughs> I saw I saw this I saw this meme today, and it was like girls always talking about how they have a heavy flow. All right, then spit some bars then. <laughs> 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 oh, that made me laugh. Oh. Uh, um. So now we got we did everything, but we I, we gotta um. Not everything. What are we gonna do? Most. What are we gonna do? I need to. There's something I need to do. Oh, we need to. I gotta figure out who we. Who are we interviewed? Like who's coming out next month? Oh well, it depends. Well, okay, we already released Cascade. 
cascade it. So then, did you yeah. think we already do the sound that ends? No, I think that one's one. So the sounds that ends okay. creation is coming out. And then it's Michael Andriano. And an awful mess. Awful mess. Yep. And then Science Penguin. Oh, God. Or is there only three days? No, no. Is there only three? No, we did, we did Science Penguin. Uh, next month? Yeah, how many Thursdays are well, there? Skirt? Four. Skirt, skirt? Four. Yeah, so Sounds of the Creation, My Adriano, Off a Mess. And then, so that, so the Science Penguin won't come out until the 5th. Okay. Of uh, October. I, I was so, I was, that was a really great conversation we had with them. They went on there. Yeah. They're just two dudes, independent. That just Fucking decided the dream. to go on a cross country tour. What they'd say they did? It's like twenty five shows in thirty days or something. Yeah, something like that. They yeah. just they rented a van, they put all their shit in it, and they just took off. They it was international. They went to Canada as well. Yeah. Yeah. So they talked about their favorite yeah. snacks, tips and tricks. We they're for driving we just, on the road. Just talked, man. They were they were some cool dudes. No playlist on that one. No but playlist. Great I, I love Science Penguin. So there was some great uh, conversation. They had beef with the Canadian border officials. Yeah, um, a lot of cool stories. But that one's not coming out until October, so you're gonna have to wait uh, for that one. What? I thought you meant the fifth. Yeah. Oh. No, October fifth. Because we got, and then we have to record more because you're going to stupid Japan. Wow, <laughs> dude! What if Japan hears this? <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Please let me in your country. <laughs> I was just kidding. I'm gonna show up and I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna throw yeah. him in jail. Stop, Batman! Stop, Batman! Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, so we got a bunch of cool ones coming. We're recording uh, a lot more in advance because we're not gonna be able to record for two weeks. Couple of weeks, um, yeah. So right now we're so we're trying to get them in the bag. Yeah, to keep you spoiled brats with entertainment. Yeah, yeah. All six of you that listen. That's right. That's right. How's Overwatch going, man? You kidding me? Never. You winning? Never, never been happier. Are you winning? <laughs> Did you win? Yeah, I'm winning. <laughs> Every no, day, nice. dude. I never lose. I'm like Michael Jordan. It's dude. It's so fucking funny because like. <clears throat> Every night, like I'll pull because I'm I'm been I've been playing Diablo, which they're owned by Blizzard, just like Overwatch. And uh, as soon as as soon as we end the interviews, I look on and it says abs in competition. <laughs> I'm like, God damn, motherfucker! I had that shit pulled up, ready to go. <laughs> ready to go, baby. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. My leg. I'm really, like, I'm really excited to see, like, how the Science Penguin episode sounds. That one. Yeah, those really, dudes are really killing it, man. Yeah, me too. That was a fun one. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, well, yeah, that's a sound in creation. That dude's cool. He, he, that's just a single dude. Oh yeah. Um, that guy's and that guy's got the, a lot of music. Bro, the work that man puts in is insane. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He puts in the work, man, and he's just, he tours by himself, he like, bro, that's gotta be like tiring, the driving and the setting up, everything, yeah. dude. Cause he does, yeah, he does do it by himself. Mm-hmm. It's gotta be interesting to watch, cause he got like his little Britney Spears mic on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the little ear, the ear, like headset looking thing, yeah. 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 That's cute. But... Uh, I think that's it, dog. I think we're good. Um, I don't have anything else. Hi, I'm gonna hop on some fucking Diablo. Get and it. Try and grind some more. I gotta get to, gotta get up there, man. I'm dying. All right. I, think I got fucking like, I have my world tier, so now it's like really hard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I uh, my, my, my girlfriend's in my kitchen. It smells like she's burning something. So go make sure. She's oh no. The house down. What are you burning? Tofu. Tofu. Probably. <laughs> Tofu's pretty good. <laughs> Tofu's great. <clears throat> yeah. I'll stand on that hill. Yeah. Oh shit, dude. We ain't um Korean barbecue. Oh, 
They had, yeah, they got the Korean barbecue. Wait, damn, isn't that place like expensive? Rich, bro? Yeah, it was expensive. So. <clears throat> Y'all did like a date night or something? No. Oh. Then we took Eloise and Evie and me and Tori. It cost us 130 bucks. Did you yeah. like it, though? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it's pretty dope, yeah. Yeah, they, they give you a little scissors, your little tongue to tongs and you... Yeah, and that tong to tong tong. Yeah, what'd you get? Yeah. What'd you get? Uh, everything. Like, okay, yeah. I was going to say, just stick with like, you know, like... The, we did the, the barbecue food. side of it, but we it was like, I walked in and it was 30, it was like 30, 40 dollars. Is it all you can eat it was. for 30 bucks? Yeah, it's all you can eat, but you have a little time limit. You have two hours. Yeah, but they don't actually um, count the, and, they don't actually count the two hours. Yeah, no, yeah, but you just order and order whatever you yeah. want, and they just break it to you, break it to you, bring it to you, and you can go choose your sauces and everything yeah, else. Yeah, you gotta get Hawaiian steak, brisket, don't, don't fuck with chicken, Bro, don't get shrimp. fucking Evie got like a, like a fucking full steak. <laughs> <laughs> it was like this, they brought out like this big ass fucking steak, I was like, god damn, boy. Mm. Like, hey. That alone's worth your fucking, your fucking meal right there, hey, dog. Hey, hey, Just getting there. Thirty dollars worth, bro. Right. I'm gonna go in there and eat bullshit. Yeah, man. I mean, it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Good. Yeah. I haven't been to one of those spots in quite some time, but I, yeah. I, I've I've had my fair share of it. Eating way too much. Good. Like get bro, I, I, I want one of them tables. <clears throat> I know, dude. If you had one of those at your house, right? you just sit down and you guys cook your own damn food. Yeah, y'all make whatever y'all want. How about me that? Alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> They got like little burners for like noodles. If you want to make noodles, yeah, right? yeah, dude, I'm telling you. And then in the center is like a little little cooking pot. They got thing. the whole they got the things. whole game figured out, dude. Imagine, right? All they do is bring you the ingredients. They don't cook nothing. You cook it, yeah. And they somehow you cook it yourself, bitch. They somehow <laughs> trick you into paying thirty dollars for you to do all the fucking work for you to cook your own fucking food. How awesome is that? Right? They got it. They got it right. I they love it. it right. I love it. Yeah. It was expensive, but it was all right, man. I got my money's worth. I ate a lot of hey. prime brisket. And Sometimes shit. you got to treat yourself. Mm hmm. Well, we just had a garage sale, so we made like 800 bucks. What? Mm hmm. That's a pretty lucrative garage sale. Yeah. Damn. Y'all selling fucking transmissions and shit in there? What's going on? No, dude. We well, we had to split the money with that. We had to split the money with that. We had to split the money with that. With with that was split. Y'all each made eight hundred. No, no, no. We oh, made we made like yeah. three hundred piece because Tori's mom took like two hundred, okay, and then okay, okay. Tori, we, me and Tori and T Tori's and her sister split. I was like, gonna say eight hundred. It. it was like three something. Eight hundred piece. Y'all pushing something. Uh, yeah, yeah. You selling drugs? No, nah, man. We so we were selling Pokemon cards for like ten cents a piece. I saw that. And, bro, let me tell you right now, you want to make some goddamn money and sell some Pokemon cards. We probably made 150 bucks or more, 180, mm -hmm. just on Pokemon cards alone at 10 cents a piece. And when the garage sale was over, we still had 5,000 fucking cards left. <laughs> damn. Yeah. I was like, God. So you guys damn, sold dude. like 1,500 cards? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. And we still had fucking 5,000 left. And those are all the cards, like from the when they had as a kid, from ninety six uh, to twenty eighteen. Damn, is how long they, they, they. I think the oldest card was like ninety six, and the newest card was twenty eighteen. Any any good ones, dude? I mean, no, they took all the good ones out. Okay, and they just sold like like, <clears throat> yeah. But even still, dude, that's a lot of cards. Only a lot of collecting and like ten cents a piece. Yeah, Bro, I, mean, I don't have any of those things. Pokemon cards anymore. <clears throat> I wish I did. And they were all like in really good condition. Like they took really good care of them. So. Yeah, they did it right. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, we made we made a killing, dude. And when I was there, I was just like, bro, people. Were, I don't think I. I think maybe twice I set a number over two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> hey, people all got to me like, how much is this? And I'm like, uh, two dollars. Oh, bro, like. <laughs> Like, at the end of the day... I don't want this shit. At the, yeah, at the end of the day, you're just trying to get rid of shit. Yeah. And it's like... And we still had a, sh a bunch of stuff left, and we just sold all the rest of it to this lady who comes and picks stuff up. So we sold that to her for 150 So technically, we made, like, 950 Damn, dude. Yeah. That's pretty good. Four days. Yeah, man. Oh. We had a lot of shit. It's been shit from, like... It was a lot of shit, dude. Yeah. Like, we've been saving this shit up for... 
like four years. They were supposed to do the goddamn garage sale like three years ago. Yeah, that's the that's the garage sale <laughs> of the century. Jesus. Yeah. I mean, it made a pretty good penny, man. Yeah, that's awesome, bro. I'm glad. I'm glad you yeah. had a nice meal with it as well. Yeah. Sam Tower's garage sale playlist. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, dude. You got it. Uh, nah, man. That's it, dude. That's all I got. That's it. That's all Wait, I got. Zark is saying something. Oh, what you got, Zark? Oh, God. I keep opening the thing. Boomer. That's the perfect name. That's the perfect name. name. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Zark and Ander27, whoever you are. Yeah. For listening. Mark showed up, Era. Yes. Yeah, yes. y'all. Thank y'all. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for tonight. I'm going to hop off here and play some fucking Diablo before I got to go to bed. All right. I'm going to go stop my house from getting burnt down. All right, man. Enjoy your burnt tofu. Yes, sir. Later, bro. Later, bro.